Welcome back to the channel, guys. We have another unboxing. This time, it is the Peekaboo Clown. You guys have requested it. If you attended my live, you might have even voted for me to get this animatronic. So let's set him up, see how the form his face is, and hope that I got a good one. But before we get to that, I'd like to mention this video's sponsor, thehorrorcorner.com. It's a horror, pop culture, and nostalgia shop that specializes in a wide variety of horror and Halloween products all year round with a huge selection of pop culture and pure nostalgia. A couple things I'm really excited about on the Horror Corner store is the t-shirts. These t-shirts are hand-drawn and they look excellent. One that's really standing out to me is this shirt depicting Pennywise. The details are gruesome and he's really captured in a way that I've never seen before. For. If you head over to the horrorcorner.com now and use the code PSYCHOCIRCUS at checkout, you will get 15% off your entire order. So we have his instructions, and just as we did in the Uncle Charlie unboxing, we are not going to look at them. Bro, his face is... Fuck! You're one ugly motherfucker. Majorly, his teeth look all messed up. I'm gonna have to like stuff his actual face and try to get into where his teeth are. That does not look good at all. Ooh, what happened to your face? It's like bigger on one side than it is on the other. And at least when he's turned off, his eyes don't look cool. It literally just looks like he's wearing steampunk sunglasses or something. It's probably a leg. It's probably his other leg. So one thing I did notice in his videos and when I saw him in the store is that his clothing seems like it was padded. And it definitely is padded, which is like a different quality of clothing when it comes to seasonal vision animatronics. It seems to give him more of an actual body. Um, there's like a, a piece of foam covering everything from well, shoulder to foot, really. So that's cool. I love his colors. The uh, green blue doesn't do you know too much for me, but I love the orange that sticks out. Got his hat. I don't know why they still like continue to do these kind of hats because they rarely look good. Um, they usually fold them flat like this. It doesn't take up that much room to just make it so it didn't. Or even made it hard plastic or something so it wouldn't look all messed up with uh, creases in it. His neck ruffle. It's nothing to write home about. It's literally just a little neck ruffle with the Velcro pieces. These again are the same shoes that we are usually seeing from the clowns sold at Spirit. Um, but these are really cool. I like the color and I also like that they look dingy and dirty. I don't know if I've seen other shoes that look dingy and dirty off the top of my head. I have so many animatronics that sometimes they kind of mesh into one in my memory. Um, but that looks really cool. It's like a black paint that they've added onto it. So here's one arm, here's his other arm. I'm probably going to set him up different. This is kind of how they have his arms where he's covering his eyes like this. I might do something that I don't recommend everybody else to do. And that's actually put a bend in this metal. Now it can weaken the metal, it can break it. So don't try it at home, but I would like it where his hands were more like this, how people actually play peekaboo. So here's his mechanism, which is very, 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 very detailed. Um, I've never seen Seasonal Visions use this type of plastic before, so that's interesting to see. It also seems that there's a motor here, and this is kind of how Hugs the Clown's motor was. Um, but there's another motor here, which is for his arms, um, with a metal pole coming this way as well. So they will move at the same time. This is very, very intricate and uh, really surprised to see that. That's interesting. We've got a stand, 
typical stand. This is the second one that I've gotten in 2020, or maybe the third animatronic I've gotten in 2020 that has this piece here, um, this little loop on the frame. I believe it's so that the shoes won't move around if the wind blows. Um, at least that's how I use them is I put the shoe down and you don't have to worry about it going side to side so much. Um, or maybe it's even a way for people to identify which side is the front. Sometimes when you're putting it together, you don't know which side the front is or the back is. So, and these are his leg poles. I'll have to cut these off, but let's, uh, let's put them together and uh, see how cool he is. So during his build, I noticed that his clothing is just so much better than I first felt. It's thick, it is better quality than any other animatronic that I've received, not just from Spirit, but pretty much from anywhere. Again, I really love that his shoes are painted with that dingy, dark, black, grayish paint. Again, I don't think another animatronic I've received with those same shoes has that same type of paint job, and it really makes it look great. His face definitely looked messed up and I had to stuff it with some paper towels, which I'm sure that you saw. Cause you look like Freddy Krueger face fucking topographical map of Utah. Um, Not gently, like it was hate fucking. Still a lot better than when he first came out of the box. There was something wrong with the relationship and that was the only catharsis that they could find without violence. Um, what? Um, ciao. Anyway, so. I really love the color of his hair. It's the same material that you expect from an animatronic. It's not anything different. It doesn't look real, but the color is really good and it's unique. I only have one other animatronic that has blue hair and that's like a light blue, but the color of Peekaboo Clown, his hair is really vibrant and kind of sticks out and makes him original. His eyes are absolutely incredible. They look just as good as they look online. Definitely going to be the focal point of him, and I can imagine kids on Halloween staring up at his face, seeing something that they've never seen before. I definitely had to tweak his hands to fit his face a little more in a natural position. I didn't go as crazy as I originally thought I was gonna, but I made him look way more natural than the manufacturer's video suggested. His hands are kinda cheap. They have a waving Wally quality, say that three times fast, where they're kinda just painted a little shittily, as shittily a word shitty painted shitty his movement is a little robotic and i have to compare him to hugs the clown because they do a similar motion i feel hugs is a little more natural the way that he springs forward and comes back but of course his arms don't move the same way that peekaboo clown's arms move when his arms go in and out they definitely seem very 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 stiff very robotic 
very unnatural. I don't think it will matter to little kids. I think adults will think it's cool just because of the novelty factor, but it doesn't seem very realistic to me. That being said, overall, I absolutely love him. Quality wise, he is way better than the Uncle Charlie from 2020. His clothing is better, his facial structure is better, the gimmick with his eyes is more attractive than anything that Uncle Charlie brought to the table. However, his sayings kinda suck. For some reason, he says blah, like he's Count fucking Dracula or something. It doesn't really go with what he's talking about. And the, oh, I can't see you, my eyes are closed, ha ha ha. Like it's not even a good cheesy joke, it's just like a horrible attempt at humor. Overall, I am very, very, very excited to use him in our home haunt this year. So that's pretty much everything about the peekaboo clown. Now before we take off, you know I have to do my subscriber shout out. And this time, <laughs> I can't say this with a straight face. This time it goes to, <laughs> It go, this time it goes to cock and ball torture guacamole. <laughs> cock and ball torture guacamole. It goes to cock and ball torture guacamole. Every time you comment on one of my videos, I can't help but laugh. Even when you're not saying anything funny, you have by far one of the craziest names on the internet. Thank you so much. It really is a highlight when I see that you comment on my videos. With that being said, we're back. We're in full effect. Happy haunts.